Hi, I'm Cliff Booth, the founder and CEO of Westmont Realty Capital. You know, we've been in the industrial business for more than 30 years, and I've never seen anything like it. The, the, the outpouring of demand uh, from tenants and the outpouring of capital uh, literally from around the world has been striking. Uh, I like to say that, uh, um, you know, though we've been, as I said, in this uh, space for, for this amount of time, it was never the sexy part of the business. Uh, the buildings haven't changed. Uh, they're no sexier than they were, but uh, it, it seems like all of a sudden the space has uh, is, is become a lot more. It's the darling now. It's the bell of the ball, as they say. Um, specifically, we, we're, we're seeing opportunity in the um, infill markets, markets that are closer in, uh, uh, buildings that are closer to freeways where employees uh, are accessible, where decision makers live, where distribution channels are strong. Uh, additionally, I would say uh, we're seeing more uh, opportunity for uh, light industrial, multi-tenant light industrial buildings, more than single tenant, large buildings, large distribution centers far out in the suburbs. So that's where we as a company uh, are spending our time focusing on. Uh, I have been very surprised and pleased, frankly, uh, at, at how well the industrial space has performed uh, in this uh, downturn uh, caused by the pandemic. We've been through a number of different uh, uh, economic dislocations in the history of the company. And so I thought that, uh, that this, uh, this one would perform the same. I was wrong. Uh, when, when March came, I was uh, preparing myself and our team for a dramatic slowdown in activity, uh, freeze up of capital markets, and, and, and not much uh, buying opportunity or selling during this period of time. All of those things proved to be not the case. Uh, lenders are active, tenants are, are leasing, uh, buildings are selling, we are acquiring, and so that all those things are quite uh, significant changes from other economic uh, uh, challenges uh, that we faced as a company previously. The industrial market has performed virtually in every geographic market in the U.S. Uh, and probably uh, most countries in the world very well. Um, we, as I said before, we're seeing the activity especially increase in, in areas like cold storage, for example, that we've been quite active in. Um, and that's due to our online shopping patterns. You know, I have friends who, uh, who who were not very inclined to buy their foods online prior to, uh, to COVID. Our family has been buying that way for years. And when I would ask people why they didn't do it, they said, well, I want to you know, touch that tomato or see that piece of salmon. Uh, somehow that's all kind of gone away where uh, we're, we're not as uh, interested in going shopping. And uh, I believe that the numbers that have increased for online shopping will not go back to what they were pre-COVID. The industrial market has always been resilient. Uh, that is why we are, uh, have been attracted to the space and have been investing in it for decades. Um, it has once again uh, proved that thesis in that um, our, our renewal rates has been very strong uh, our occupancies have stayed strong. Cash flow has, has uh, remained steady as, as our collections. So I, I would say that um, because the businesses that are in these properties have uh, aligned well with the, with the economy, that's the fundamental reason that these buildings have performed well. Uh, and I think you'll only continue to see that uh, in, in, in the years to come.
what what we're seeing uh, is that is challenging is that there's so much interest and so much capital chasing industrial buildings that we're having to be more creative. We're actually hiring more people, analysts, and uh, acquisition personnel across the country. Um, we've been buying and bidding on portfolios for a long period of time, which we will continue to do. What we're also going to be doing is uh, is buying and, and, and staffing up to buy individual assets and smaller deals. We're seeing more opportunity there. I would also say that I think that um, we could see even declining cap rates. Uh, we've already seen that cap rates have declined since uh, the pandemic has started. And there's uh, some reason to believe that that will only continue, which makes the buying environment uh, quite difficult. But uh, we're still confident that uh, given that we have lots of uh, tentacles in the marketplace, a lot of experience, a lot of relationships, that will continue to thrive and uh, access uh, capital and find uh, great uh, buying opportunities. Mm -hmm.